Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sassetta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We will be looking for those gusty winds once again for this afternoon out of the southwest. So that's going to move the smoke from the Gila wilderness into the metro as we move throughout the afternoon hours, and it will be another warm day. Temperatures in the southeast will approach the century mark this afternoon. Then as we move into Saturday, we're looking for another windy day. With the storm system moving closer to the state, we'll see even gustier winds. Winds will be up to around 55 miles per hour for a gust in the metro tomorrow, up to around 60 miles per hour as you move over the four corners. And we'll continue to deal with those gusty winds through at least tomorrow, but then they do start to come back for Sunday. And right now, Memorial Day, not looking too bad with light winds, temperatures in the mid 80s, and lots of sunshine. The Whitewater Baldy Complex fire burning in the Gila Wilderness consumed another 12,000 acres over the last 24 hours. Fire crews confirmed 12 cabins, along with 13 small outbuildings, were destroyed. The small town of Mogollon is still under a voluntary evacuation. Right now, 500 firefighters are working to build fire lines. Fires consume more than 82,000 acres. Strong winds have blown ash as far away as 40 miles. Police have arrested a man they say is the bicycle gunman who killed a South Valley man yesterday. 22-year-old Darren Davis faces an open count of murder and tampering with evidence. Detectives say he confessed to firing eight times at Ramon Luetas outside the victim's home near Isleta and Rio Bravo. He then rode away on a bike. Investigators say the shooting stemmed from a bad drug deal. Davis's friend Thomas Lloyd III is charged with tampering with evidence for hiding the gun from detectives. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a very safe weekend, everybody. See you next week.